Hey everybody, welcome to my world. It's me, TPG. I am currently heading to uh, get something to drink and then I'm going to go get my vaccine for COVID or coronavirus, whichever way you want to say it. I am more than ecstatic right now. Like, I'm just on top of the world. I was on top of the world yesterday. As long as my shift wasn't Target, I was still like walking on sunshine. I was like, yes, Lord, yes. And then today, I slept wonderfully last night, and then today I'm like all bundled up in my favorite thing sweater that I just bought. Um, it matches the little black one I got for Christmas, if you remember. Um, it was on sale, y'all, for $6. Up from $30 to $6. My beautiful, isn't it pretty? It's so comfy and warm. It's like one of those big, warm sweaters. Love it. it. Smells so good. It's just comfortable, and I just, oh my gosh, I just want to wear it for the rest of my life. But anyway, besides that, guys, get me all wrapped up in my sweater. Um, it's not that cold here, but I just needed a little something to cover up my arms and stuff. Just a little, 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 little something to take the edge off. But anyway, I say I'm pulling up the sleeves. I'm so excited about taking my vaccine today. It has been too long. I'm so over this whole COVID crap. Um, lots of people I know have gotten their shots. And uh, I've had, you know, some people say you're not supposed to take it for three months after you've had it. Other people have told me it's okay, including the pharmacist, doctors. I talked to a nurse yesterday who said she got hers three weeks after she had COVID and she turned out to be okay. So I'm not really sure like what to do in this aspect. I'm just going to take it. People are like, oh, you could die from it. You know, oh, it's a chip from the military. It's whatever, but I'm, I'm just done. And, and I, I mean, I, me already, I'm going to probably feel invincible because of it. But like, I think the more people that take the vaccine, the better off we're going to be in the United States um, and be able to not have these masks and be able to get life back to normal. I'm really tired of people referring to the mask wearing as the new normal because this is not, this is my precious Baby Yoda mask. And you guys know as much as I love Baby Yoda, wearing a mask with him on it is not going to be my new normal. I can't do it any much longer. You know, at Target, I'm pulling it down. I got in trouble yesterday because I can't breathe. So I'm constantly pulling the mask down. It has become horrible to me. Um, you know, I can't breathe. I'm already claustrophobic. So it's just, it's just been a long haul for me. And I just want to get out of this mask. I want to get on with my life. I don't want to be wearing it at school. I don't want to be wearing it at Target. And of course, I've heard... Ooh, I've heard, I'm sorry guys, I just got a little dizzy there. I heard that they're going to have, you know, like right now you don't have to wear it in restaurants and stuff. Unless the restaurant insists on it. So I think some places are, ooh, ooh, excuse me, are going to lighten up with it. And other places are going to be a little stricter with it. I think here in South Carolina, they're going to kind of, our little governor, he's such a, he's such a douche, man. I can't stand our governor. He's going to probably do like he did last time like oh it's up to the individual cities it's up to state blah blah blah, blah. and so he's gonna probably mandate that you know it's up to the city and in my town where i live this is a funny story now about this our mayor was like oh no we're not gonna wear masks i'm not putting aiken through that blah 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 and then all of a sudden he got they were supposed to have a meeting on monday right this was a, long, a while back last year and he got COVID, got diagnosed on Saturday that he had COVID. All of a sudden, we've had to wear masks. We've had to wear them ever since. And he made it. He got a ticket. He made a big deal out of it because his little behind got COVID. He was nowhere interested in at all wearing masks until his little behind got COVID. So that really kind of was like, okay, month, you know, okay, fool. Now you see what people are talking about. Um, it was quite weird, um, but it was also the way it was and I just I always thought that was kind of funny because you know these politicians and these people in power were like oh we're not doing this until all of a sudden oh I got it now I'm gonna make my people do this now you know he didn't care about anybody in, a, in, the, in our city and what we wanted and what we felt like doing I mean there were people wearing masks long before but he didn't care about that he was leaving it up to the person and all of a sudden here it was bam you know, he gets COVID. And oh, now the whole uh, the whole city is going to wear a mask. So it, that's the kind of crap I'm talking about. It's just stupid. 
But anyway, you know, that is, it is what it is. They're talking about here in South Carolina also, they're talking about possibly if they do drop the mandate in my city as well as South Carolina, it'll be up to individual people whether or not we wear masks. I know Target's already informed us that they will still make us wear masks. Um, the school probably will through the rest of the year. I don't know about next year, um, but I do know probably through the rest of the year we will have to wear them. Um, and that's cool. I mean, I understand until they're able to get everybody vaccinated and everybody in place. The numbers, oh, excuse me. Oh, hey, we blah, 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 blah. Um, The numbers seem to be dropping and here in South Carolina, and that's good. Um, you know, I, it's just been such a weird year and part of this year. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I, I just, my, me, myself, my, I think I'm dizzy right now. I'm like, because my anxiety is so high right now, just knowing I'm going to get the vaccine, just knowing that I'm able to finally be one step further away from this craziness of this, this virus that everybody's just closed down America and closed down the world. I mean, there's still countries and states that are closed down completely. People are out of work. And I mean, I'm blessed that I, I was out of my school job, but I was still getting paid. And I was also still working at Target. So I was still getting paid in the middle of this pandemic um, where some people were not, were out of jobs. And of course I was very giving and did for people what I could during that. Um, you know, helping out and stuff like that. Mm, I sure, but, but at the same time, you know, I, I am lucky, guys. I'm sorry, guys. That is really how that's my anxiety that's making me yawn and stuff. It's the, the closer I get to this place, the more like my legs hurt. And now it's like all in my mind. It's my anxiety. You go see me, you know, it's just this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Just talking about this virus wears me out. And this is one thing I told my therapist. It just really like freaks me the hell out just everything about it and so just thinking about the fact of getting it done and everything oh that lady looks nice she's going to church she's got this really pretty sweater on guys i'm in the downtown part of my city um i should be flipping the camera let you guys see how pretty it is down here but i'll do that another day but anyway it's a a really pretty little city everybody's going to church and it's kind of dead out down here which is a typical Sunday because like I said everybody goes to church there's a big church two big churches down here and everybody goes to church there Saint. and then there's like a church here and a church up the road and after they go to church then they come and they go out to eat and said, by afternoon this part becomes very very like pot popular and everything but right now it's just like really dead and closed off which is how most downtowns are you know the historical downtown area that's been here since the beginning of time you know um, but it's a pretty I, I like my city there's not a lot to do in this city as far as I mean there's a live theater our movie theater is closed they say permanently so I guess it's not going to be open anymore um, Regal apparently sold all of its theaters and so at least most some of them and I think ours was one of the ones that got sold because it is it opened briefly and now it's closed again so I was like really sad because I miss movies um, uh, Gabe and I just subscribed to HBO Max just to be able to watch some of the newer movies that are coming out because there's a musical one coming out. You guys know I love musicals um, called In the Heights. It's coming. I've been waiting for it to come to theaters. I, I don't know much about the musical and that's how I learn a lot of the musicals. I either watch them on like on Netflix or like when they film them live or I watch them on YouTube or when they become a movie I watch them and I I try to watch every movie musical just because I, I want to learn a little more about the musical so this is one that I've been like really watching I listen to some of the music and I, so far I like what I've heard I'm going here to win these guys and give me something to drink because I am so thirsty um anyway that's um I'm excited about it and it comes out on HBO Max in June and uh, so they're putting all the new movies like I Love Gabe is watching Tom and Jerry, which I was really sad because I want to watch that too because I love me some Tom and Jerry. They were my favorite growing up in the entire world. I'm going to go here and get me a drink, guys, because I'm thirsty. Again, anxiety is not a good thing. You guys are really going to have to study my anxiety trap with, trick with me. Hold on, guys. La, 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 la. Hello, how are you today? Can I get a large Diet Pepsi, please? Or Diet Coke, whichever one you have. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so anyway. Whew, I should be drinking more water. But see, my throat goes dry. Because this is really crazy. And I want to share more of my anxiety 
with you. Look at that. Look at how dark my glasses get on that one side. It's so funny. I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> they had turned to darkness, but when only like one's outside, it gets darker than the others. That's so funny. Anyway, guys, I am so sorry. I appear so manic, and I probably am having a very manic episode. This is so not like me, but I told you guys I wanted to start sharing more with you this year, so this is um, me having a very uh, manic, um, anxiety-ridden video. Um, it's really up the wall right now. I'm on, I took my medication, but I'm going to be a more... I love their food. But anyway, it looks like one side of my glasses changed because I had that set up. Suddenly, the other side didn't turn. That's so funny to me. I'm like, it looks so funny. Good job. My, my anxiety is so sky high. Just knowing I'm getting this vaccine in a few minutes, guys. Hey, How you doing today? It's uh, knowing I'm getting this vaccine is like absolutely freaking me out. I, I, I've got to calm down before I even go in this place. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Oh, wonderful. My anxiety is just, y'all, I'm telling you, I've been wanting to share my anxiety story with you for so long, and, and it's like it, it did not start getting better. Thank you so much. As stressful as my job is, and as stressful, sorry, I've got a trash can here I put on my trash can. Um, as stressful as my job is, and as hard as my job is, I did not start having bad anxiety like this until this pandemic. It's crazy. This pandemic like brought all of my anxiety to the top. It brought all of my, it brought everything to me just to the top. And it's like crazy because I, I've never been through all of this before until I, like I said, until I had this pandemic. And now it's like, ah, ha ha, you have this, this craziness. And, and now it's like, oh God, what am I gonna do? But I'm, I'm surviving, guys. I mean, I'm going to get through this. It's going to be a little crazy and a little weird, but I am going to go through it. I'm going to go pass while I'm out, so I'm just doing it in the morning. i got to go to work in a little while. There's the place I'm getting it done, guys. But, yeah, so anyway, I'm, I, I know I'm babbling, and I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to share my uh, joy of going to get vaccinated, and I'm sorry that I'm having a slight panic attack, guys. Um, I did, I, I, like I said, I want share more with you guys. I hope that you don't freak out. I think I'm, I'm getting under control. I will be taking more medication. Um, I don't know why this pandemic has brought everything to the top, but it really, truly has for me. But I love you guys and have a wonderful day. When I get in there, I'm going to ask if I can film it. Um, if I can, I'll film myself getting the shot. If not, I will film a video after I've had it. And we'll see how my anxiety is. But for a minute, I have to kind of listen to music and kind of de-stress myself, get gas, and then kind of just de-stress myself so that I don't have a major panic attack and be unable to take the vaccine when I get to um, CVS. So I do love you guys. Remember to always be yourself. Always. Don't change who you are. Stay true to yourself. Love yourself. If you love yourself, other people are going to love you. You have to be good in your own skin and feel good about yourself and always know that you are the best you and that's the most important thing we can be in our life. I love you guys and stay true to you. Bye.